Write the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem and determine whether it will always be true. If yes, explain. If not, give a counterexample. For this section, I'm going to go ahead and allow you a three minute time limit. So go ahead, pause your video now and work through question number 13, which is section nine. Go ahead, pause your video. All right, our converse would state if two angles in a triangle are congruent, then the triangle is isosceles. Here, the converse is always true. On to the next set of questions.